Hello guys, in today's video we are turning back the clock. We're gonna take the hard drive from my old laptop and we're gonna transplant it in my new machine. That way we're gonna increase the capacity, the memory capacity, and as well I'm gonna have a backup drive. If you love DIY adventures, stick around. Don't forget to subscribe and let's dive in in this upgrade together. The donor is this laptop, this Acer V3. Uh, it's a 371 series, I bought it in 2014, so that was a long, long time ago. And unfortunately, it's out of date completely. I've tried to use Linux on it, Windows, it's, it takes an eternity even to load. So I don't want to destroy it, I don't want to throw it away. And as a result, I'm going to take the hard drive and I'm going to use it as a backup drive in my new computer. Plus, this puppy has a one terabyte hard drive. If you want to do this with your PC or with your laptop, remember to back up your data. What we need, it's a screwdriver and that's it. Let's take all the screws out. Let's not lose the screws. What I recommend, don't do like me. Just take a card if you have, or something from plastic really thin. And that's it. Besides, as you can see, it's full of dust. Uh, I didn't use this laptop for probably four years now. It was under the bed, just staying there, see it proper. That's the hard drive and we just need to take it out and do the transplant in the other computer. To unknown the hard drive, we have this screw here. So we're gonna need to take this one out for the cage. Now we just need to slowly unplug it. And that's our hard drive. So it's a Western Digital Blue, one terabyte. The model, I'm not sure if it helps, WD-10 SPCX. To take out the cage, we have one screw here and one here. So let's just take these screws out. And the second one. And that's it. As you can see, it's a SATA drive, so we're gonna need a SATA cable. So I just bought a kit from Amazon. I pay like seven pounds. Not too much. Don't forget, don't try to install the hard drive while the computer is working. Just shut it down and we're gonna do the installation after we're gonna power it on. As you probably remember, this is the new PC that I bought. This here are the plugs for the SATA cable. To put the hard drive, we're gonna need to turn the case. That was the pretty side of the case. Now let's go on the other side. Cable management, I'm not sure how good it is. Let's see. Okay, what can I say? Not bad, not good. Still a lot of uh, space for improvement. And here, as you can see, where all the cables were in, that's a hard drive bay, and that's for a 3.5. But if you check very closely, let me show you these holes here. You can install a 2.5 in it. So those holes there will gonna align with let me see if it focus with these ones here. So what we can do, we can take that tray out, install the hard drive, and after mount it back. To take this tray out, you're gonna be quite interesting because one we have these cables, and second, looking at it, I'm pretty sure we need to turn again the so we have the space. So we have one screw here and one screw here. And let's take the trap. Literally, we just pull it slowly. Ta-da! That's it. That one there is our hard drive. And as you can see, it fits perfect. And we just need the screws. These little screws, they came with the kit that I've told you about. You don't need to tie them very hard, just a bit. It's not running nowhere. Now let's install it back in the system. This is gonna be a bit of a pain. But the way we took it out, we need to put it in. That's it. Now what we need to do, just to arrange it back. Yeah, it's perfect. Next step, I'm gonna put the screws back. 
what we can do is use we're gonna use this one to power the hard drive we can use to be honest we can use any of them well we're just gonna use this one so we can chuck all the cables here as you probably can see it has a l shape so it's kind of impossible to plug it in the wrong direction or to mess it up and let's do it perfect we just pushed it inside now we're gonna need to use the SATA cable that I bought same story L shape so you're not gonna be able to mess it up even if you want to ah, don't get me wrong probably if you want to you're gonna succeed let's put the SATA cable perfect now they are both in what we're gonna need to do now with the other part we're gonna need to connect it to the motherboard and we just need to press this clip here and that's it after we connected all the cables we're just gonna power on the pc and we're gonna need to enter in bios or wifi let's try with the and we are in bios if we go to settings and system status we're gonna see on sata port 6 we have the western digital hard drive so is it recognized now let's enter in Windows and format the drive. This here, new volume E is the new drive. What we need to do is go in search and write create and format disk. If you want to format um, the drive or I don't know, delete everything, the easiest way is click right and we have delete volume. It informs us that if we're gonna delete the volume, we're gonna lose all the information. That's not a problem, let's go through it. After we deleted the partition, it disappeared from here. So you don't need to panic. We're gonna have here unallocated. Click right on it, new simple volume, and it will gonna take us step by step. Next, here it will gonna show us the maximum amount of megabytes assign the following drive letter. We're gonna leave E as we have already C and D. So we can leave E, we go next. And here it shows us uh, how to format the drive. And as we are using Windows, we're gonna leave NTFS. And I'm gonna leave it perform a quick format. If you want full format, just unclick it. But for one uh, terabyte, I think it took almost two and a half hours if I remember well. Yeah, approximately two and a half hours. So we're just gonna perform a quick format. Next. And here we're just gonna click finish. Here it shows us the formatting and it's already done. As you can see, we have new volume E. That's 930 gigs. So that's the old new drive already installed and ready to be used now i've just selected one file for my nvme ssd and we're gonna copy it here let's see the speed and what we have so we had the spike of 160 megabytes per second but the average is approximately 100 megabytes 95 100 megabytes if you want to do a short health check on your drive, what we can do, we can just go in command prompt. This, uh, if you don't know the drive, I would recommend to do it before. And to be honest, I would recommend you to use like specialized tools or programs. And here we are writing WMIC disk drive get model status and we just hit enter as you can see it shows us the models so we have two of them one is origin inception tlc 850 pro and that's our nvme status okay and the second one is the old drive western digital wd10 spcx and again healthy okay i don't recommend you to rely just on this command and if you want to buy secondhand drives, I would recommend to buy like a pro, uh, proper program 
that you can test the half of the disc. Another option we have here, we select the volume, we know is this one, E, click right and select properties. Here we're gonna go on this tab, tools, click it, and we have this. This option will check the drive for file system errors. And we just click check. And this tab will gonna open for us, and we just click scan drive. Now we are just waiting for the results. It's quite fast. The window successfully scanned the drive, no errors were found. Having more space on my computer now, I'm gonna be able to transfer some information from my NVMe SSD to the old new drive. That way I can install more games straight on the SSD and I'm gonna run better. All right, and that wraps up our guide on transferring the old drive into your new PC. The most important part is take your time with every single step. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the thumbs up and subscribe. Plus, feel free to share your experience and any tips you have. Thank you again for watching and see you next time.